Today, this is a blue skyline. I mean, it's silver, but it's got blue accents all over it. This, my friends, is a very special day indeed. A brand new summit, a brand new quip, and it's available to purchase for books, crew credits, or as a bundle. I would, again, highly suggest as a bundle, but very clearly, we're in Miami, and there's a reason we're in Miami. It's a blue accented skyline. I'll give you a second. You know where this is gonna go. It's the Too Fast to Furious skyline, baby. You already know. This is basically Ivory Tower's take on it. Look at all the ducting and the, the tubing and the piping and the radiators. and it, it looks tremendous. I'm super, super happy to jump in and start playing with this car. Now, very first, first thing that I want to do is jump to the house and make this thing look a little bit more spicy than it already does. I bought a bunch of vanity items. I bought them all on the store ready to go. And we're ready to play. Here we go, baby. <laughs> the boy is about to change. So, of course, it doesn't have color or visual parts. It's one of these cars. I hope that in the future that they will change that. But, of course, this was already scheduled content. The top livery downloaded 104 times is this one right here. Wow. All right. Great. Thanks, game. Th I love you. Now, some vanity items have already equipped themselves to the car. This isn't as on on as a standard. Standard, the, the wheels are basic and dry like this, okay? There's, there's nothing there. I'm dec I've decided to go with the blue wheels just because it's just a little bit more spice without going a little bit crazy. Like, that's a bit too much, okay? That's a little bit too much, even for me. On the other vanity items, we've got the blue smoke. We've got this nitrous, which is still my absolute favorite. The prism nitrous because it makes different noises. I don't know. It's just kind of cool. We've got the blue underglow, but we also could put on the blinking blue underglow. We've got a lighter blue. And we also bought these neon waves, which I wanted to try. I think that looks a little bit ridiculous. Still my all-time favorite is just the RGB sick unicornness that is that one right there. So we already gave it a little bit of a go. With the standard setup, which is 280 horsepower, we're now going to throw 280 parts on our 280 horsepower machine and make it drive even better. Let's hope that this is a much better car. Not 62.5 seconds, 915 horses. Maybe we could do better than that. Come on, average tower. Now, as I said, it's a shame that we can't really do anything to this car because I think it's fantastic. Changing the hood and stuff with some of the stock scaling bits would have been even just the hood. Just, just little bits like that. Or changing the wheels because the wheels are a little bit of a downset. But other than that, I love this car. Here she is. Now, there's one major difference between this and the standard one. At least I believe so. If you give it a cheeky rev, listen to the blow up noises. Those are tremendous. Right, let's get it, baby. Look at that launch. Not that one, no, 2.5 seconds. That was a little bit slacking. Carbon on the interior. This is basically how I want my interior to look. <laughs> I want my carbon every tang. You know me. Carbon and carbon and carbon. Even if it ain't real carbon, I will take it. <laughs> All right. Let's give it some beans. See how we do. I'm surprised I'm holding up pretty well, considering that I'm playing currently on 4G internet. Say 4G is more like three or two. It's pathetic. It's quite frankly the worst internet you've ever experienced in your life. But this car, so far, not too bad. It's very understeery. Now, I will say, I'm quite surprised when I've driven the actual car, understeer doesn't exist. I've even disabled rear wheel steer, and it honestly feels tremendous. But this is a standard car. I mean, it's not, but it should have the ability to realize that it has rear wheel steer and therefore it should turn like a god. Which actually turned it crabs pretty well, to be honest with you. Now, the problem I found with this car upon driving it, when you go quickly, it reduces the turning circle tremendously. And of course, that's a thing on cars naturally. Yes, it is. But to the extremity of this, I think not. I think it's a little bit extreme for my liking. The turning is just a bit too aggressive on the low end and not enough on the high end. Just some little information for you. I don't think it feels the quickest in Street Race. Street Race has got the Lamborghini Huracan. So quite frankly, I think that's the only car that most people are going to be using for PvP. But because it's a brand new car and it looks great, a little bit white for my liking, it's 
it's it's a card that you're gonna see for a little while now what we're going to do my friends is jump in to a street race so we've got this street race right here and we've got this is a drift there's a drift so miami is the perfect place for us to do a cheeky little street race just because it, we've already done the drag race we're gonna have to do this one right here and we're gonna jump up change the difficulty to normal I mean hard. We start on normal. It's supposed to be easy. I love this so much. This feels like I'm playing too fast, too furious. The game. I think there was actually a game for it in the arcades. Actually, I do. Rem I do quite remember that, to be honest with you. Okay, let's get lined up for this race and hope that this boy provides some nostalgia, some power, some speed, some ability. I love the look of this thing. Let's get it. The prism nos is definitely the way to go. Oh my goodness, I'm about to take it. The, oh, the new GTI is actually massive. I don't understand why on earth I look the same size as it. What kind of disgraceful lying is this? <laughs> this is just, oh. Yeah, as you see, as I was saying about the understeer, the, it is quite prevalent. Is that a word? Did I, did I use it right? Oh my goodness. See, I, was, I wasn't expecting the understeer there. I'm actually going to have to fight to, to control this thing. It feels like... I, I don't even know. I've never even experienced a properly stock skyline handling-wise because my hikers was deleted as soon as I already had some nice suspension upgrades. But I should tell you, a modified skyline should feel a little bit more livelier. I say livelier. It should turn a bit better <laughs> than this behemoth. This thing feels huge. I mean, it's very wide, so maybe I'm just gonna, I'm gonna assume it's because it's wide, right? That's exactly why. Now, one thing I have to say about the design of this overall, the white seats, I really, I really like it. The white leather seats as well. Leather seats, I've seen a, but a few cars with leather seats. I think that the standard fabric ones are nicer and I feel like mine have been held on pretty damn well. I'm pretty, quite happy with the previous owners looking after my interior like they did and um, and one thing that just keeps cropping up on my mind i don't know if it's just me but the fact that the the crew 2 license plate is still the license plate that's available as of the crew one we said we had so many different license plates we could put on we could unlock and put on to me that's i hope that comes in the november update it was supposed to come a long time ago but i don't know it's been it's been a little 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 time now you should add to the vanity items because it just, it just makes sense man it just makes total sense so many jumps i do feel like we're playing the two the official too fast too furious we're playing the too fast too furious experience on the crew 2 the crew 2 featuring paul walker skyline <laughs> honestly I, I i'm not a jump man you know this but for this for this setting it kind of works quite well doesn't it Considering the fact that there was quite a... I mean, it's quite, quite a few. There was a lot of stunts and Hollywoodness in the, the that Too Fast to Furious movie compared to the first one, which was a bit more gritty. And still some Hollywood in there. Explosions and the like. And the, the, the truck stealing VHS players. Now, now, only do that in Hollywood. <laughs> but then it got a little bit extreme from there, didn't it? It went a little bit cray-cray. Now I'm driving the Skyline in the rain. That's a weird feeling. I mean, it's to totally possible with that all-wheel drive business, but I love the neon, though. It's just lighting up the, the horrible dinginess that is now Miami in the rain. Though it's Miami, so the rain will probably last all but two seconds because Florida, that's the way it is. I would really like to see, I think, some no now more cars like this. They've got, The attention to detail they've gone, like, added some extra bits to it. I think we could do the same with the eclipse the eclipse could get another version because I, I wasn't really massively keen on the on that eclipse model that we got the modified eclipse model i think that we can get a nicer one but this they did spot it like I, I have nothing to complain about by this car other than the handling but the actual skyline probably handles exactly the same so this is just me reviewing how the skyline feels on the crew 2 as a standard which is not very good unfortunately because realistically it should feel pretty fly if you ask me take that shortcut pass through that taco bell that's not even a taco bell i don't know why my brain thought it was a taco bell but 
We gotta say it is. We're actually gonna lap people. I'm doing pretty good. I was expecting with the understeer ability. I thought I was gonna do pretty poo-poo. Considering that every car we've driven with with handling characteristics like this, we had a little bit of a struggle with. It's even got the HKS blow-off noise. That's a very specific HKS blow-off noise. Like Japanese auto parts manufacturer Japanese-ness blow-off noise. That's pretty sweet. I'm happy with this car. I'm grateful that Ivory Tower added this car the way they did. Wide body kit and all. Very happy with it. The only thing I would personally change about this whip is the Z-Tune is needed. But of course, I wanted to make it like the, the, the Paul Walker one. So I didn't have a Z-Tune. But Z-Tune all the way, baby. Make sure to smash like. Subscribe if you are new. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.